Hi everybody, Jim Sammons here from the Kayak Fishing Show. You know, one of the biggest issues that kayak anglers have to deal with is getting their kayaks to and from the water, particularly if like me, you're dealing with multiple kayaks. That's why I started using the Malone Auto Racks trailers some years ago. And I really loved it. They had the Microsport trailer, which I used initially, and then the Megasport trailer, which I have now. And as you can see, I've got it set up to carry four kayaks. I've got two flat on the bottom layer, uh, one on its edge on the bottom layer, and then again, another one up top, flat. Um, this has been great for carrying four kayaks. Uh, you know, this, this trailer has a gearbox, uh, a wet gear um, wire mesh crate. Um, it has lighting. I mean, it's just a, a, a awesome, awesome trailer. Um, but now I have acquired a Blue Sky Boatworks Angler 360. This thing's big. Um, so technically I could put it up on the top layer but getting that thing up there would be a bear, and that's kind of one of the reasons I went to a trailer, so I don't have to be lifting kayaks up all the way to the top that much. So um, what I'm gonna have to do here is reconfigure this trailer. I'm gonna lose the upper deck, um, but then still have the bottom so I can carry the blue sky and hopefully two kayaks on edge, or take the blue sky off, and then I could do four kayaks on edge, or I could lay one flat and two on edge. There's gonna be a lot of different options here. So what I'm gonna do here is show you uh, what I've gotta to do to tra uh, transform my trailer into a uh, trailer for carrying the Blue Sky plus other kayaks. So uh, we're gonna just keep shooting this thing uh, bit by bit and uh, stick around and see how this thing turns out. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is remove this upper deck. I had to take off these uh, saddles as well. I mean, it's coming off the top deck, but I'll be using these again later. So I've taken off the uh, crossbar just so I have smaller pieces to deal with, uh, keeping all the bolts with them in case I want to throw this thing back on at another time. Uh, now it's only really a matter of getting off the actual upright portion and that's only going to involve like four bolts so it'd be really quick uh, then I'll strip all this down take all the saddles off take all the kayaks off and then uh, lay out how I'm going to um, put the blue sky kayak on here or the blue sky boat works it's certainly not a kayak <laughs> pretty much all the bolts on here are nine sixteenths. And if you ever are building one of these, if you have an impact wrench, it really makes things go faster. For what I'm doing here, not a big deal. These, uh, the bolts are undone. So this thing should just lift right off. So the whole thing will tilt off. But a little stuck. Just watch your fingers, you don't go. There we go. Well, let's see if we can get yours off then. See if you can pull. Okay, there we go. Go higher. There we go. Awesome. So the way we're going to be setting up this trailer to carry the blue sky is with bunks, just like you would see on a normal boat trailer, which are basically pressure treated um, two by fours covered with carpeting. Uh, so they're nice and smooth. You can slide the kayaks or boats right up on them. Um, because the blue sky is two pontoons, we have two sets of bunks. So there'll be uh, one underneath uh, or one pair underneath each side. Um, Today we're just going to set them up so they are uh, basically in position. I have the measurements, uh, but I don't have the boat here with me. So I'm going to put them in an approximate position, and then when I go to pick up the boat, we'll fine-tune it. Okay, well I got the bunks on here. 
Uh, now it's just a matter of going and picking up my blue sky and uh, adjusting them to fit exactly for the hull. But uh, pretty easy process putting these things on and very easy taking off the upright. So uh, pretty easy. I've got plenty of space on the side here. And so this is where I'll put a J cradle for my, um, my regular kayak. And I'll also put a regular wing in the middle. So when I'm not using the blue sky, I can just slide my regular kayak right up in the middle there. So uh, quite a bit of versatility here on this uh, trailer. And uh, I will have to run over to the shop and pick up my blue sky so we can do the rest of this. So as you can see, I've picked up my Blue Sky Angler 360 from the shop. Uh, I did a temporary setup of the bunks on the trailer to accommodate it, but uh, getting home, I, you know, I really want to be able to add two kayaks on here. So I'm uh, gonna have to move this around a little bit. Before I put them right down the center, I'm gonna move everything over to the side so I can put two kayaks on the other side in J crate or J saddles. Um, some numbers that will help you out. Basically on center, so basically between the two sets of bunks is about 33 and a half inches. Uh, each of the pairs of bunks on the uprights are four and a half inches apart. Uh, the inside bunks, so your, your spacing there is 24 and a half inches between the inside of the upright on each pair of bunks. So that should help you kind of line it up. As far as the positioning of the bunks, um, just keep them snug but loose when you throw the um, boat up there the first time. That way they'll kind of form to the shape of the boat and you can adjust that till you have them in just the right position. The boards are very flexible so they will form to the shape of the hull of the boat. So there you go. I. Uh have converted my Malone Megasport trailer over from carrying four kayaks to the Blue Sky plus two Krakens on edge. I added um, some bunks for the Blue Sky and then a couple of J-racks for the Krakens. Um, if I need to carry more kayaks and, and not the Blue Sky, I can always take the Blue Sky off and put some Krakens or other kayaks on there. Uh, flat on this side as well. So very versatile setup. Um, if you want to see more stuff from Malone, it's at Malone Auto Racks. Uh, I've had several of their trailers and really like them. And of course, this new Blue Sky is so much fun to fish off of. Well, I hope that gave you some ideas on how you can set up your Malone Trailer Megasport to carry an Angler 360 or your Jackson Kayak Krakens. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, please throw them down in the comments. And uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to Kayak Fishing Tales. Remember, if you're ever going out on the water, always wear your PFD and keep your paddle right side up. Take care.